Last week, Seven on Your Side's Michael Finney tested out San Francisco's new bottle and can recycling program. He said he would come back and show us how well it worked. And he joins us now uh, with this experiment. How did it go, Michael? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> Look, it was a mixed bag, literally a mixed recycling bag. To test the program, we downloaded the Bottle Bank app and first thing ran into a problem. It said Oregon Beverage Recycling Cooperative. Huh? Well, it turns out those are the guys who designed the app, but this is the San Francisco Bottle Bank's app. Still a bit confusing. We loaded up our beverage containers and brought them to the recycling center where the app is checked in, then our bags of bottles and cans. Done. Now we wait. The correct amount of CRV deposit money does show up in our app, $2.25. But I tell Charles Shahan from the San Francisco Department of the Environment, it showed up late. The money was supposed to uh, arrive in my account within three days, and it took nearly four, like an hour or two short of four. We deposit funds into people's accounts within 72 hours. We've been about 93% successful. Unfortunately, yours, uh, yours was not one of them. Now, take a look at the SF Bottle Bank website. Here is a map of the program with dozens of points, making it seem like there's a lot going on. But the green markers are only retailers where recycling bags are sold. The red markers are the recycling sites. There are only five of them on this map. And get this, most are not really there. Doesn't look like it's doing too good to me. Consumer watchdogs Jamie Court says this new program puts the burden on consumers. I mean, they're in, like, two locations for like a few hours every morning while people during the weekdays not the weekends so most people aren't going to be using this 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 facility and it doesn't replace every retailer in san francisco who was required to take back cans and bottles there is actually a saturday morning availability out at stonestown but the map does not reflect the reality of current drop-off sites only two of those are accurate. I kind of feel misled by this map. Well, we, we do have to um, update our website, and so we, we will get working on that. But again, as I've noted, we are going to continue to open up locations throughout the city. Charles says this is a pilot program and more sites will be rolling out over time. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jamie from Consumer Watchdog says there still won't be many sites, as many sites I should see, as there used to be when stores had to take the returnable containers 